whoever wins this one will have their name engraved in the Pantheon of World Warriors! Hello everyone, uh, Big Z Boy back again. Sorry, I just hit the mic with my knee. Uh, the table it's on. Uh, joined here again by Pat and Nick. Uh, say hello to the people, guys. Hey guys, it's Muscle Man Warrior 92 and welcome to another crossover. Hey there guys, it's Gentleman Bentley and welcome back. Alright, so we did both versions of the pirate ship in the last video. So I'm turning all the items back on, even the ones I hate. Alright. Oh yeah, if you didn't notice, I've been sa I said in the previous video in here, Muscle Man Warrior 92 here, welcome to the crossover. That's kind of going to be my new intro saying like I'll just be like on my channel hey guys muscle man 192 here and welcome to the channel yeah every video every video so that way in case if someone ever stumbles upon any of my videos for the first time that at least I'm giving them a welcome to the channel no matter which video it is yeah, yeah, yeah. um what were you talking about before the video mother three. Oh yeah so, over the summer, I was playing mo the whole Mother series. Oh, nice! A first attempt again at playing the stage I want. Um, Good luck. So, the version Jeff sent me from his Google Drive and put on, so that way I wouldn't get the wrong thing and screw up and not and get something that doesn't even work. He, um, it, he, he, uh, gave me the. Mother 3 uh, fan English translation that's very popular on the internet for uh, people that want to play Mother 3 and that's exactly what I was playing on my PC on like a ROM hack or emulator whatever you want to call it that you have to have you have to have an emulator folder for it to work because it's kind of like you're emulating the game like you were to play any game um, it's basically the same thing Oh, thank you for doing that, Nick. <laughs> um, so, like, j when Jeff helped me patch up Mother 3 after I ordered it from eBay for 50 bucks, like, on actual Game Boy Advance cartridge, it was... It said the patch is exactly the, um... Ah, oh, you ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's... I loaded the game up and saw it worked, and guess exactly what it was. Mother mm. 3. It was the English fan translation, the same one that people can play on PC, that I played. So it's the same exact one in everything I played on my PC, except I'll be playing it on my Retron 5 for the show. But this nice. one, I'm not gonna do this for a while, this will be after some time of me and Sean, or whoever I'm with, completing Mother slash Earthbound Beginnings. I mean, uh, slash Earthbound Zero. And, um, because that's the English patch I have for, uh, Mother 1, because I have it on Famicom. And Earthbound itself. So when we beat those series, obviously we're going to start Mother 3. Because we're going to go in order. Which kind of doesn't make sense, I contradicted myself, because we did Earthbound, and then eventually we started Mother slash Earthbound Zero. Because Sean wanted to play a Famicom game, and he was excited. But he hasn't messaged me in, like, a while. I think he's been busy at school, so I don't know when I'm going to see him again outside of being at Judas Priest with him next month. Yeah, they're playing at uh, the Paramount Theater over here. Awesome. Nice. November 6th. Them and Mastodon. Oh, I remember first time I've ever, I'd ever seen... Um... Mastodon on anything or ever heard like their music in some sort of way was the Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie. I didn't even really? notice that that was them. That's awesome. Yeah, because at the beginning of the movie, that movie was uh, great. It's one of those. It's one of those old um, like drive-in intermissions theaters. where it's the dancing pieces of food that's saying like, "Let's all go to the oh, lobby," yeah. and there and then eventually they come across like these other pieces of food I forget what they were but it was the voice it was basically Mastodon playing the entire playing like a heavy metal version of it is that that song <laughs> where like I forgot like something something you can have all your fucking money like it, it was that song right it was like very metal something like that it was very metal I, I remember was. that 
Speaking of very metal, I watched Alpha Omega Sin's video earlier on basically the new Jack Thompson. Oh yeah, oh, I seen geez. you posted that. Yeah, someone posted on Facebook, and I don't know why I didn't. I guess I didn't set it up to receive notifications when he puts up new videos. Because I want to start watching his videos more. I've only seen a few of his videos actually. Oh, you'll love him. I I already do, and plus it was easy to get into his videos because he's a fellow metalhead. So I'm like, yeah, I already like this guy. He's he's a badass. Goomba flying a, it's Goomba flying a coupe car. Hey Goomba, what's up? I'm just a mad. I just I can just imagine what music would probably play every time a Goomba like a funny song that would play every time a Goomba just flies around in the Koopa car. <laughs> like that song from Conker's Bad Fur Day. Something like that. Yeah, Maybe the, or probably yeah. probably the uh the uh fail little horn music from Family Feud that's like bum 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 Probably. That would be just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> oh, so um there's been some more detail. Ah I gotcha, you dumbass. <laughs> Jeez. Um there's some <laughs> This there's is my world, more... I got the fire flower. There's a little bit more detail on Kingdom Hearts, on like all the Kingdom Hearts titles oh, no, that have, have been announced this. so far. Um, as far as I know, uh, for 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep, Terra, not Terra, Aqua is going to find a way to save Terra and Ventus. Huh. So I, she'll, I didn't so even she'll, know there was going to be a sequel to Birth by Sleep. I didn't know either, but... I wasn't expecting it to be, because that's a... That's a prequel, unless they want to make a sequel to the prequel. BT BAM so, reference, by the way. It technically is, because it's gonna be taking place after Birth by Sleep, but in... But it's also gonna lead up to Kingdom Hearts 3. I remember a few years ago when King, when Dream Drops Distance came out, like late 2013, they said that that was actually officially the last game they're making before 3. And I guess that was a lie. Oh yeah, Square Enix yeah. likes to troll. They said this is the last Kingdom Hearts game we're making until Kingdom Hearts 3 actually comes out. And it, it clearly wasn't. Because this is talking like two years back. I still never beat that game because I don't know if I talked about it with you guys in the original videos we did. I feel like we might have. I think you did. I feel like we might have, but it was very annoying playing that game because it's cool you get to actually play as Riku and switch off with him in Sora every now and then, but it gets very annoying you're fighting someone or you're in a serious situation and then all of a sudden that stupid meter freaking depletes and then you switch and you're randomly playing as the other character. Oh yeah, the drop meter was kind of an issue, but... It was off-putting, and it takes away from the gameplay. It's like, no, I want to finish what I was doing, damn it. You'll get... It's like, you'll sometimes get used to it, sometimes you just want to throw your 3DS. I really wanted to give that game a chance, because I love Kingdom Hearts. But... Well, the new, new version's supposed to be kind of like a remake, so maybe it'll finally improve it, hopefully. So it's like... I... The farthest I got was, I know you can play or... World, in whatever order you want, of which whatever ones you have uh, available at the time. As Kingdom Hearts always has had that. Um, um, but the part I was at, I could not get past, and I couldn't get past the other parts in other worlds either. Not that I remember what they were, but the space, the one in Tron from Tron, it wasn't. I don't even know if they called it Space Paranoids or not. We can't, by the way, Brandon, don't say anything about, like, bosses or characters or anything. Nick has not played Dream Drop Distance yet, so we, I don't want him... I want it, I don't want anything spoiled for him. Alright. Well, there was a specific boss I could not even beat, because he kills you in one hit. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. I can't do this shit. And I was playing it on normal difficulty. I, um, I could not find a way to beat him. I'm like, I give up. I'm not playing this shit anymore. Oh, so oh, so I've been having thoughts about some for Kingdom Hearts. I'm not sure if this should be something to, dis to that would, should be discussed or not. But if you remember Go the Kingdom it. Hearts 3 trailer... Okay, now, 
you all notice Xehanort's ears. Like, if you remember in um, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, you notice that Xehanort had pointy ears, right? Yeah. Yeah. In the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, when it shows him in his young, as his young self talking to Ericus, do you notice his ears aren't pointed? Maybe it's why... He, hmm. No, I don't know why that is, actually. What if... What if the Xehanort that we see in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep isn't, like, his actual body? Hmm. What if, back whenever he was young, Xehanort found... Maybe it was the Lost Master that was talked about in Kingdom Hearts Key. What if the Lost Master is who Xehanort... Like, Xehanort must have taken over his body, and that must be the one, that, the Xehanort that we see now. Huh. You know what, that would be... I know that... You know what I heard? I think... I heard that Drake Bell voiced a character in the trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, like he vo was it the one where there was two people speaking over like a table or something in the beginning? Yeah, that yeah, was uh, young Master Ericus and young Xehanort, I and they were talking about the Keyblade War. I heard young Xehanort. I think Jeff told me was voiced by Drake Bell. Hmm. Really? Yeah. I have to. I'd have to look into that then. You know what? That would actually. I could be wrong. I think it was Drake Bell though. If it was though, it would make perfect sense because Drake Bell is broke right now. Drake Bell yeah, is what? It, Drake Bell is broke. Really? Yeah, because of Justin Bieber. Me and Jeff actually talked about that in like The Last of Us Remastered Part One about Drake Bell being broke and that Josh Peck is kind of a prick. For not wanting to do a reunion for Drake and Josh or something, because he didn't want to do it to help out Drake. Well, right now he's busy with another show. He's busy. I with... know that, but like he didn't want to help out Drake by doing it. Like he didn't want to do it to help him. I'm like, do they have some scuffle I didn't know about or what? Yeah, that's pretty suckish. I just think suckish. I just think that's kind of a dick move, bruh. Oh yeah, totally, bruh. By the way, um, I saw something on Facebook that you guys are never gonna believe. What? Guess who is on Rick and Morty recently? Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Ego it, Raptor. It, yep. What? Oh yeah, he was on Rick and Morty. He was a cameo. I seen that. I don't watch that show, but I looked at the clip and I'm like, I didn't laugh at it, but apparently you have to watch the entire episode to get the joke, because he randomly just like is at a dance or something and he's looking at random people and he's like I am not staring at you I am not staring at you I am not staring at you and he's just creeping people out by doing that Jeff told me he didn't laugh at that scene either but he said that to get the joke you have to watch the whole episode I've I, I told you maybe I don't like the show because of how the animation really just pisses me off it's very off-putting for me and weird yeah, the animation can definitely put some people off, especially if you notice how their eye, like, the pupils of their eyes are drawn. It, it's, I don't know, it's so weird. Like, I'm not doubting, I'm not judging a show based on its lack of animation clarity and, like, quality and shit, but I know each people have their own animation style, but I just, it's just my opinion. I just, I just, it doesn't really do anything for me. I, under okay. I understand that people love it, but... Oh yeah, I, I love the show. I'm not gonna stop them from liking it, it's just not for me. I personally like the show. There was a song that was sung on there, it's, it's an original song, it's gotten so popular, it's called Get Swifty. Plus, I understand people, especially like, starting to watch it after the mysterious Mr. Enter did an animal animation on it months back. Oh yeah, you gotta get swifty. You gotta get swifty. <laughs> that song is too funny. I freaking love Rick and Morty. There's just something about the comedy that's just, especially oh. especially Rick. Also, it's like, what was I gonna say? I also probably didn't care to watch the episode with Eagle Raptor because. I'm not trying to bash other YouTubers, especially ones more popular than, well, me, 
but I've been a fan of Eagle Raptor since middle school. I grew up watching his Newgrounds videos. Those videos were classics. I can still go back and watch them and enjoy them. But, like, I love those. But I stopped liking him after a while because he always tries to act like he's a game reviewer and just like, oh, this game sucks and this game sucks because he sucks at the games. Like he, if it's not Mega Man X, he doesn't like it. That's pretty much how he acts. Yeah, it's like pretty much he he pretty much just hates any game that he can't play good. If he can't play great, like play a game right, he immediately will say it sucks. That's what annoys me because a lot of the times it's with games I actually happen to like. Other times I'll agree with him and say, yeah, that game is pretty shitty. But no, a lot of times I felt like he was just trying to troll people that actually like those other games. There is a specific difference between saying you don't like a game because you didn't like the gameplay and be or because you suck at it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think he's better at it. It really it's annoys hard. me when someone is a jackass about hating something specifically because they can't play it. It's like, all right, well, other people are able to play this. Maybe I'm just doing something wrong. No, he didn't even really admit it that much, and when he ever said that, it was usually as a joke. Because other times he'd be like, yeah, th this game sucks. Yeah. Okay, actually, you know, I'm about to go off on a little bit of a rant on something. I, I'm, I'm about to go into full rant mode. Immediately, I dis- before you do that, immediately I disliked one of the- The, um, the, uh... What are those games? The Katamari games, one of them that he did a series on a while back oh, for Game Rooms. Immediately, I disliked the video when I was watching it, the moment he said that the original Sonic the Hedgehog games suck. Because I'm like, alright, that means he has absolutely zero respect for games then. Because those games paved the way for plenty of classics for years to come. Sonic really, like, started something, and Sonic was really the only most popular series for the Sega in general. Like, that was Sega. When you think of Sega, you think of Sonic. Like how, oh, when, yeah. like how when you say Mario, or you someone says Nintendo, immediately you think Mario. Exactly. That's, that's how popular it is. Anyway, you can go on with what you were going to say. Okay, so I, so I play this online game called Smite. Nick knows what game it is. I believe I've heard of it. And but and before that, I played a game called League of Legends, which are you know just I know online John multiplayer games that, game. that you play with people. I know John mm -hmm. Tron's obsessed with that game. And there's this one person that I used to play with on League of Legends, and it's he's basically the sole reason why I quit playing that game, because he's. He gets so into the game, he takes it so seriously that, like, he'll criticize you if you buy an item for your character that normally doesn't look like it would suit them, like, for upgrading their health or their attacks or anything. He'll criticize you for that. If he screws up on something, he'll blame you. If the, if the, if he loses, if our team loses the match because he messed up, he'll go ahead and blame you. And, you know, one time my friend was playing with him, and he told him it's just a game. And he said, if you'd say that again, I will not play with you anymore. Yeah, a lot of people not joking. don't take that very well. Like, serious, like, seriously, you know, it's a game. You're supposed to have fun. You're supposed to play with your friends. You're not supposed to be competitive. Yeah, You're supposed games, to have fun. Games are made to have to have fun, but there are games where it's like, alright, well, I gotta be competitive with other people. Like Smash yeah, I mean, Brothers. Yeah, I mean, you know, Smash Brothers tournaments, that's fine. You know, it's a tournament. It's a competition. If you're doing it whenever you're at a friend's house, you're sitting and having a good time... Are you serious? The thing is, though, with Smash tournaments, they still act like douchebags against each other. They what? I selected they Super Mario Maker, of course, again, just to show off of all different ways the stage can look, like we did in the original other videos we did. Okay. okay. So, but yeah, like, still playing this stage. Yeah. yeah, but, um, yeah, you see, when, when people at the Smash tournaments, you know, I watched a Smash tournament back at E3, back, like, right before Smash Wii U and 3DS came out. And no one acted like a douchebag against anybody. They were all friendly to each other. Oh no, the Smash community, whenever it comes to tournaments, they're they're not even like 
they even don't take it seriously. It's called, you do it for fun. Yeah, that makes sense, because I remember watching Beta 64 before those games came out, and at Best Buy he was playing both versions in separate videos, and there was just people having fun watching them play it, and they were all getting, like, just having the times of their lives playing the game or watching them play the game of people that were, like, playing on the the demo things that let you do best some best buys during E3. Yeah, I mean, heck, if I were in a Smash Brothers tournament and I was playing, like, if I, like, if I played a match against a really good person, a really good player, and, you know, if I lost, I'd congratulate them, saying they did a good job. If I won against them and they lost, I'd congratulate them telling you you did a good job. Exactly. That's how you're supposed to be with games. You're not supposed to be all completely focused. I mean, yeah, you, yeah, if there's something... Yeah, if there's a good opportunity that you're going to do something really cool in a game, it's okay to focus. But, you know, don't take... It's not to be taken seriously. It's a game. Get over it. You know what games aren't meant to be taken seriously? Hmm. Ones that'll make you cry. Well, uh, yes. Yeah, that's single player, though. Yeah, we're talking about multiplayer. I know, I'm just speaking out in general. Yeah. Yeah, but, I understand. But yeah, that's my rant. I'm just basically saying that, you know, don't be constantly blaming people on... If you're playing online with that, them on a team, don't be blaming them if you did something wrong in an online match. Don't be a jerk. That's called a John, because of that term, no Johns. Oh, uh, Oh yeah, wow. I, I never found out the origins of that whole thing. What happened? Because there was a guy named John who would enter Smash Brothers tournaments, and any time he would lose, he would use some sort of excuse. And so it's just like, alright, well, no Johns. He would use okay. some sort of excuse as to why he lost. Um, speaking of um, blaming things, or whatever, um, we should discuss more about that guy I told you about before that Alpha Mega Sin was ranting on in that recent video. The new Jack Thompson? Yeah, when I posted the video on Facebook, and even when I commented on it, I'm like, this guy reminds me of someone else that did something similar. I'm like, please take a guess as to who you think I'm- as- I'm like, can you take a guess as who that person reminds me of? I'm like, I'll give you a hint, the last name is Thompson. Also, he's a straw man. Also, he's a what? I never understood that. He's a what? Jeff told me that before too, he's like, what do you mean by a straw man, when I told him the same thing. A uh, straw man is someone who just has one-sided beliefs about things, and, like, they think that they're right. Like, for instance, um, someone that is, uh against something, completely against something, without seeing the other side about that whole thing, and they're just very ignorant about it. Like, oh yeah. Like, alright, I'm gonna blame all these shootings on video game, uh, on video games that are violent. It's like, they're completely ignoring everything else about video games. It's that like, whole yeah, that, situation. Like, that someone that exists just so people can say, you're wrong. Like, that that's what a straw man is. That whole thing, that whole situation about how video games are the cause of shootings all started with Columbine. Yeah, Anthony was commenting on that post on Facebook saying that that's, that's a really old, stupid, like, argument that needs to die because it's going, been going on since Columbine shootings. And I'm it's like, not. I'm, it's not the person. It's not the game. It's the person. Yeah, I know. The persons exactly. have a. The people have a sick mind. Well, keep in mind, this kind of stuff's been happening even before video games even existed. Yes, this is true. And you know what? I'm gonna reference something that Mr. Andrew said in his top ten worst Patrick's a prick list. Um, in the video, in the episode Karate Star, when Patrick blames his hand for causing much of destruction and doing all that chopping in Karate Star. He's like, I'll never forgive you, and rips his hand off. He's like, oh, so it was Patrick's hand that was do causing all this destruction. He's like, please tell me, if Patrick, if the whole fiasco was, let's say, because Patrick was on steroids, and he caused all this destruction, who would you blame? The guy on drugs, or the drugs themselves? 
Yeah, really. It's a guy on drugs, obviously. But it's yeah. like, oh yeah, the drugs did this. The drugs made you kill them. No, it's the decision you made to take them and your reaction to them. That's what caused it. Like, also, he said that this guy is a multi-talented person, so he has a huge influence and has a lot of people on his side, unfortunately, of trying to commercially get video games just in general outlawed. Not even just violent video games, any video game. Like, oh, so, this asshole, oh, so this can. asshole wants to get games, James, games in general banned because he's a straw man that thinks every game needs to be banned or else school shootings will continue. His name, his name is Matthew Hagee or Haggy or whatever, and he is a douchebag. I'm pretty sure he's doing that because he thinks that he's better than, than he is. Others. He does think that, you're right. Which to that I say, get off get off your high horse. You ain't better than no one. You're you're just like us. We've been experiencing that stupid shit with people being ignorant of video games for years. Stop beating a fucking dead horse. Yeah, and if you think yeah, and if you think you're gonna do that, if you think you're gonna try and do anything against it because you think you're better, like I said, get off your high horse. You're not at better than anyone. I mean you're just like you we're all the same. I mean, I don't think that one person's argument about something, especially if they don't know much about it, is always an automatically what makes it bad. Just if it's ill-informed and so one-sided is what makes it worse. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, that was just my- that was just a little rant that I just had to get out. Like, Alpha Omega Sin was saying that this guy does not give a shit about all those victims or their families of the people in those shootings. Like, they, he clearly does not give a shit. He just cares about himself. And he's doing this because also for publicity. Yeah, that's just bullcrap. He won't win. It's impossible. I know, oh, yeah. Anthony, my brother Anthony says the same thing. He's like, yeah, that's never gonna happen. Because this has been going on for years, and, like, yeah, it's stupid, and it's annoying that people are still trying that shit, but it's not gonna ever happen. Because, you see, if he bans video games, then you might as well ban movies and books and comics and manga and anime, you know? You must, might as well ban everything if it's such a problem, you know? Well, exactly. That was actually said in, uh, that episode of Sam and Cat that did a tiny reference to Breaking Bad. Really? Oh yeah, there was an episode called Hashtag Blue, Ta Blue Dog Soda where Sam and Kat were trying to make- they made bootleg blue soda after a straw man that works for the government or whatever freaking outlawed Blue Dog Soda because people drink too much of it. Instead of being how like in America where people get the right to choose whatever they want to do it's like, that's their choice. Don't ruin it for us just because a few other people can't control themselves. And, like, of course the episode obviously doesn't talk about how drugs and how those should be banned. Just things in general. So, towards the end of the episode, they're like, when they get busted by the guy with the, the meth lab. I, I mean, uh, the blue dog soda lab. Um, <laughs> uh, probably got a reference there because he did the same mistake. Um, but, uh, that he, they were like starting naming things that like they're like, oh, you're gonna ban this now too or this. It's like, like, oh yeah, what about sleeping? If a person sleeps for too long, they they'll wake up eventually in a pile of their own poop. And they're like, one of them's like, are you gonna ban sleeping and pooping? Like, how about you just ban everything? Yeah, really. It's and the, they they totally go with the it's a whole America speech as Pi Guy puts it, where like they're just like, hey, this is America, land of the free, home of the brave. Don't blame us for other people's problems. And, yeah, that's and it, bull crap. It's like yeah, everything should be in moderation. So apparently, according to the episode and the message of the episode, apparently some little kids can handle alcohol responsibly. Alright, jeez. Alright, let's do one more. Yeah. Let's do one more uh, Super Mario Maker match. Okay. Because because my one buddy... I got an idea, actually. How about we all play as a Mario character? Yeah. Good idea. 
Uh, alright, I'll be one that I'm almost never play as. Uh, I know who I'll be. You're gonna be Wario, aren't you? Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, and then after we're done with this, I get, I'm gonna get off Skype and, uh, uh get into uh, another Skype chat with another friend of mine, because we're gonna play some World of Warships. Alright. Okay. I gotta make the annotations for The Last of Us Remastered Part 2 anyway. As I always uh, do, uh, before the fact that Jeff uploads the artwork, and then I'll post it up uh, basically as usual. I always do that usually after the video finishes uploading. But yeah, the guy that I uh, play World of Warships online, he's on YouTube as well, so you should check him out. Uh, his name is The Rum Bag. T -A the, it's all one word. It's the and then R U M B A G. He's a good friend of mine from uh, my Votex school, mm. and uh, he plays uh, War Thunder, uh, Smite, and he live streams on Twitch as well. By the way, about I didn't mention this before, but I don't know if we were talking about this in the last video or not about Cart's Network, but like. It also pisses me off that they still try to continue reboots or spin-offs of shows that have been running for a while, or even used to be running for a while. Especially with the new Scooby-Doo show, like that. Me and Nick were mean, talking you... last night. That show has been around since 1969. 19. That's yeah. how long Scooby-Doo in general has been around. Are they call Scooby-Doo? You mean the rejected Seth MacFarlane cartoon? Like it. It literally does look like a Family Guy cutaway gag. It doesn't even look like it's actually the way that the show was meant to be taken. It looks like it's a joke. Yeah, it's like... It's true. Yeah, it's like, what, did Seth MacFarlane get involved in this? I, I, mean, was, I was into some of the Scooby-Doo shows as a kid. And also, I, only I saw liked... a few of the movies. But after a while, I lost interest because they just... It's, it's like, so repetitive, like, I'm not bashing anyone like Scooby-Doo, but they really had just, I don't know, I got so bored with it after a while. I liked, I liked every Scooby-Doo series up until, let me think here, it was a series called the new Scooby-Doo movies. I thought you were going to say Shaggy and Scooby get a clue. Because I never watched, I never watched that show, but the show apparently was a spin-off that mainly just starts Shaggy and Scooby. That one looked like it was terrible. And f uh, and everyone else of the main characters in the original shows, they they didn't even like really have cameos. It's just like, all right, they're there for like a few seconds. Fula! I actually didn't even like rem remember that show at all. But Jeff told me it's because it was on Kids WB, and I didn't really watch Kids WB that much as a child. Outside of watching Pokemon Master Quest, because that show was awesome. That was the show with the the second generation, the Johto League. Pokemon Master that. Quest. Yeah, I, that, I love does that mean that the gyms were mirrored and they were laid out differently? I loved. I don't know, but I loved the Pokemon. <laughs> you get the reference. No. Yeah. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time oh, Master yeah. Quest. <laughs> I don't know if you... I was not sure if you were going to go in that direction or not. But I yeah, was. But yeah, they like... I watched the, the Pokemon shows on there, of course. I also watched other shows that I eventually did start liking later in life. Of course, I've watched Animaniacs whenever that was on also, because hey, who didn't grow up watching Animaniacs? Oh, oh yeah. But freaking... Oh, my show. But like... Yeah, I know that Jeff liked this show, but he told me the second season of it was awful when they really tried changing it. He told me Xylan Showdown was good for the first season after that, that it started to suck. Oh yeah, Xylan Showdown was pretty dang good. I really hated that show. When they brought it to Cart's Network in like 2007 or something, I still remembered hating that show. I'm like, yeah, I, I don't like this show. And people in class would criticize me for it. Well, I mean, if you have, I mean, I'm pretty sure. I love Tyra Strong, but like, I just did not enjoy that show. I mean, people, you know, if you give a valid reason for why you didn't like the show, then you get less criticism. I mean, yeah, there'll still be a troll that'll be all like, "Oh, you suck! You're valid. Your opinion may 
Like, your point may have been made sense, but you still suck. Well, that's the internet for you. Everyone is ex is uh, respectful of opinions, except for ones that aren't their own. Exactly. My one, you know, my one friend made a post one day on Facebook, and it was a really good, it was a really good point. It was he was saying, I think he was pretending to be someone who's a typical internet person, and he's like, I respect everyone's opinions, unless of course they're against what I what I support. Ugh. Like, what was I gonna say? Um. I recently watched one of Pie Guy's videos because I haven't seen him in a while of the video. It was about his old rant from like earlier in the year of React to that. And I'm glad that show isn't coming back. I looked online and it doesn't seem at all like it's coming back. Because it did very badly. But like... It had only like 13 episodes too. It didn't have a lot of episodes. That's how bad that show did. Um... Jeez. And someone in the comments was like saying, and I replied to this person and saying that it's important to respect other people's opinions, and that I said this person's an idiot. Like he was saying, well, it's, he's like, you've lost a subscriber, asshole. They said that about Pie Guy, and other people were like, it's called an opinion. We're all allowed to have different opinions. People are allowed to like stuff that you don't like and you're allowed to like stuff other people don't like yeah yeah and unsubscribing isn't going to change anything anyway. yeah it's people like, oh, you lost one subscriber well, wait you may gain like five you may gain ten more people were like saying well, good good go leave no one's gonna care and no one's gonna stop you and no one's gonna miss you oh so that's what that does sorry i never used to smash before really well, I used the 3DS version, but I didn't use it in this version. It's like the same thing. Ah, okay. I didn't know the range, so I screwed up. <laughs> See, like, some... I mean, that's a really good, you know, point about opinion. I mean, and about the whole losing subscribers thing. It's like, if you lose one subscriber, big deal. It's not It's not too much of a problem. You may... It's just one person. You got, like, a I get crap upset. load more. I get upset when I do lose a subscriber. But that's because of how I want to build our channel. And it's important to respect other people's opinions and to stand by your own opinions no matter how much you're beaten down for your own opinions. Oh, yeah. That's why I really want to do a Why We Hate for that episode I Meet Fred on iCarly because that's another episode where Sam's absolutely just terrible. Like, she's a horrible person. Yeah. Oh, speaking of the why why we hate reviews, uh, I was talking to Nick about this the one night that we did the first take of, of uh, Smash Brothers, the Smash Brothers DLC. I was talking to him about how like if he would if he would want to try doing edit editing the videos themselves for the why we hate videos, like have him give it a try. Well, he's less busy than you because he doesn't actually have a job yet, so why not? Well, he's well he's going for a job. Oh, good. Yeah, but I don't have one yet. Yeah, that yeah. that's my point, is yet, you don't have one yet, so... I, I mean, think that's exactly what I said, Nick. You can correct me if I said it wrong. Uh, like, if, you if, I sa if I said that wrong, like, the whole, you know, us talking about you trying out editing for the Why We Hate videos, like, correct me if I... Correct me if I said anything wrong on that. No, I, I said I'd do it. I'd give it a shot one of these days. It would give me something to do. Yeah, so. besides, he's got the superior... He's got the superior uh, editing program. I do? Yeah. What Adobe program Premier, is it? Are you kidding? Adobe Premiere is way better than Sony Vegas Movie Studio. It's, prob really? it's probably way better than Roxio also, because the Roxio program is awful. <laughs> Well, I always have problems I, editing videos because it will say it's the program isn't responding with every few seconds. And also, I'm I'm gonna I also said this in the update video that I'll be releasing about the about our behind the dark side fifth anniversary special. Like oh, like you like he did Nick did a really good job with the effects like the lightsabers and everything. I said for first edit for first edited video using Adobe Premiere, you did a really good job. Took forever, but it was worth. Yeah, it. Yeah, you did. You did like that was excellent. Yeah, I was really happy. With I it. especially loved the whole like 
the picture of Palpatine with his head on this with his head on the fireplace and how I guess Jake said you were gonna put some fire on there. And then it, it yeah. was like for it was it didn't show it for a while, but then all of a sudden right before the frame changed back. Yeah, it just catches on fire. That was that was hilarious. Like you did act, you did a good job. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to make. Even though it took a while, it was actually really fun. Every second I spent on it, I was like, almost, I was like, holy crap! I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, Brandon, Nick, and I were talking about that, and like he wants to, like you know, he like like he just said, he'd give it a try. But I, w but I'd still have a part in doing it also because I'd be getting the episodes. Yeah. By the way, I have my way of getting the episodes. By the way, do you think you're ever gonna actually like try to do what Shane from FE Game Crew said of speeding up the footage, like by that's, two by two percent to avoid the copyright? Nah, that's it, what I plan on doing. Make, like I've been doing that, nice. making it easy for me to actually upload it on my channel without it being blocked worldwide, like it was. Yeah, I know what you mean. I have been kind of doing that, like with some of my videos like whenever I have music playing in the background I speed it up a slight bit and I change the pitch yeah that's what he said you gotta do that by 2% and then you, you can avoid copyright which by the way my music selection that I picked for the update video is pretty good uh, I not only picked some video game music but I also picked some uh, instrumentals from some of my favorite bands like I've got an instrumental from uh, Veil of Maya and I the Breather and my brother likes Veil of Maya, but I've never been into him. Brandy, I'm telling you, you gotta listen to the new Veil of Maya. It's like if Periphery and Born of Osiris had a love child. You know what? Yeah. When I was at the Summer Slaughter 2012 in the city, in August 2012, there were ten bands there, and seven of them I liked. Veil of Maya wasn't one of them, and neither was Joffrey Cowboy. And that's fine, but you know what's not fine? The freaking people working there, as my friend Sean stated, are freaking Nazis. They would, really? they forced us and other people who didn't want to listen to bands and just chill in other areas. They would force us to have to be upstairs by the stage and listen to bands, we, even though we didn't like them. Like, that's all they kept doing is going around every few seconds, making people get up and go upstairs and try to get them to go upstairs, even though there's a crowd of people downstairs just hanging out. Like, leave us alone. Yeah. Which, yeah. which you know, <laughs> disturbs playing there in February, and Sean wants to go, but I'm like, dude, it's at Irving Plaza. Forget it. I'm not fucking going back to that place. Hmm. You know, Veil. Vale, whenever it comes to Veil vale of Maya, some of their songs, like these guys are nerds. Like, some of their songs are references to characters in, like, either comic books or anime or stuff. Like their album Matriarch, it's basically like every song title is named after a female character from like an anime or a cool sci-fi movie or a game. Like uh, Mikasa, who you may know from Attack on Titan. Yes, she's awesome. Eris. Uh, what? Phoenix. Eris from Final Fantasy. Yes. Right. And, okay. and Phoenix. All right. Oh. So um. That is the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Click Dantasia's. Uh, in the outro or the links in the description below for videos we've done in the past. Whole big plethora of uh, playlists of videos we've done, and yeah, I know we're doing horror videos this month, but we still had to do the DLC stages for Smash Brothers nonetheless. So, as always, we will see you in the next video, and thank you for joining us again, Pat and Nick. No problem. Anytime. Hey guys, if you like what you saw in that video, please check out our latest series. To the left. I hope you enjoy. It. Also, if you want more hilarious videos, please check out our other series down below. I'm sure you'll enjoy that as well. And last but not least, please hit that subscribe button. The more subscribers we get, the more content we can provide. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.